guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for clicking. And if it's not, welcome back. Just go ahead and leave your shoes at the door. You already know the drill. Joking, keep them on. Joke. Moving along, this is probably the best time where you can go ahead and like and subscribe. Follow me on the social media platform from the bottom of your screen at nsbonsu underscore super easy. <laughs> brewing how are you brewing your coffee in the morning how do you make your coffee in the morning I am here today to talk about coffee makers it's crazy because I've had a couple people ask me how do you brew your coffee or what kind of coffee machine should I get and that question doesn't have one answer I think it really depends on your lifestyle for me personally when I started my coffee journey as y'all know it's a journey this this coffee thing it's not something it's not for the week you get up in the morning and you say I'm gonna do this thing so anywho I didn't know where to start there's so many different kinds of coffee machines and I was like you know what let me keep it cute let me keep it simple I'm going to go ahead and get the traditional coffee maker that comes with a pot you put your coffee in you add water the filter and your coffee is done y'all probably like girl you haven't heard of the cups or the pods listen so I've done my share of worked in different offices, interned, worked, whatever the case may be. And I was that girl who had to make coffee. Shout out to all the coffee makers in the offices. You gotta start somewhere. The two coffee machines or makers that I have in my house is your traditional one that has, you know, the pot. You put the little white filter in, you put the coffee in, boom, plug it in, it's done. And then I have a pour over. I just recently got the pour over love it it's beautiful but i'm definitely going to talk about not the pros and cons but <sighs> the pros and cons so for monday through friday um when i wake up i usually do the your traditional plug-in pot coffee maker coffee maker coffee maker it takes roughly about five minutes and i'm able to go and do other things come back, my coffee is done, I pour my cup, and we out here. With the pour over, you have to pour hot water on top of your coffee and then watch it come down in the glass, in the bottom part of it. I love it because the style is beautiful. I think it's kind of chic, it looks amazing on the kitchen counter, especially if you, have, if you have guests over, it's really nice. But the thing is you literally have to pour, stand and watch. So you can't just leave it, go brush your teeth and come back and have your coffee. You have to stand over it. Some other things to keep in mind with the different machines that I have with the traditional coffee machine, the, the one that you plug in, I use filters. You'll also see that in the video. It's easy to clean. You just throw it in the trash can and you're done. But with the pour over, you have to wash it after every use. It's not that difficult. It just depends on how much time you have in the morning to focus on your coffee making experience. If you know you don't have time, you probably want to get the plug in coffee maker that you can also set. You can set a timer on it and it's automatic. So every morning it can like brew your coffee for you as long as you've done what you need to do. So that's more for, I would say, the person who is on the go compared to the pour over. If, if you got time, because I mean, some of us got time. If you got time, you can stand there, pour, watch it drip, drip, pour, watch it drip, drip. Now, how long does it stay hot? Hmm. So with the coffee machine, the one you plug in, the traditional one, for me, it stays hot for roughly an additional hour. So I can have my first cup, send some emails out, watch TV, get on my phone, and I come back and it's still hot. I will say with the pour over, if you wait 20 some minutes, it's gonna be that lukewarm kind of cold. It's not gonna be that fresh hot brew coffee. Obviously with the coffee maker, you can put it back on the actual base of it and it keeps it warm. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Unless you know you're only gonna have one cup, you don't need any more, it's just you, go ahead and use the pour over. But if you think that, eh, I need some later on, like an hour, hour, two later, I would definitely say, 
go with the maker, electric one. Now that you've seen me use the traditional coffee maker that you plug in versus the pour over, I hope you're able to make a better decision when figuring out what coffee maker to buy or if you just want an additional one. Like I said, my go-to is the plug-in electric. It's really quick, does what it needs to do, five minutes in and out. I can do other stuff before I do the pour over. I do the pour over every now and then, but for the pour over for me, it's more of when I have time. I mean, I, I, I can't just stand over. Ha, huh. when it comes to price, they're both in the same price range, a little under $30. So it's definitely affordable. But if you are starting out, I would definitely say go for the traditional coffee maker that you plug in and you can set times and it can be automatic for you. The links for both of these coffee makers are going to be below in the description box. If you do end up getting one of the two or both, please let me know which one you got and how it's working for you. I would love to know, like I said, you know which one I use Monday through Friday and you know which one I use on the weekends or the one I use when I have a little bit of time. They're both fabulous, honestly, I wouldn't, it's hard to compare because they do the same thing but they serve in different times, if you get what I'm saying. So please share. And like I said, I am not against uh, the pods or the cups. We don't have beef, but for me personally, it's a consistency kind of thing. I've talked about consistency in my last video with the frother. Y'all remember the frother? And I like my coffee to taste the same every single time. And I know you're probably like, girl, that's the point of the pods and the cups. It's for consistency. It is consistent, but it's not, it's not strong enough for me. I like to control it. And once it's controlled, then it can be consistent for me. And trust me, like I said, I've tried a whole lot of cups and pods and I just haven't had the best of luck. But if you have a brand of cup or pod that you use and it tastes like it's fresh brewed off the coffee pot or the pour, please let me know because I'm, st I'm interested. I mean, I see the cups, I see the pods, I always look at it, I eye it, they're always coming out with new ones and I'm like, should I? Not yet. Not yet, but just let me know. If you find one, especially the actual cup, the coffee that's working for you, let me know. I will try it and we'll meet right back here. Again, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you have comments and questions, please leave them below. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at NSBonesu. Thank you so much for watching this video. And we will be back with more coffee conversations, all things coffee, whether it's accessories, the kind of makers, the machines, coffee, milk. Y'all know I'm an oat milk girl. Shout out to the oat milk honeys. Anywho, but thanks for watching my channel. And I'll see you later. Anyways, y'all like this set? Is it flattering? Or it's like sit down.